How do you feel about this recording setup? You're not blurry. I'm not blurry. I'm in focus. Yeah. Well. Greetings from in focus. <laughs> A very random segment with Rafi Eckley. A very random segment. Hola, you amazing artist. Hello, and welcome to the blue couch in our studio. This is our studio couch, which is covered in paint. See little dots like that? It's paint. It's not grime. <laughs> The grime isn't visible, Yeah. only the paint. Yeah, you can't see the grime. So we are going to film this particular video on our studio couch because Klee is taking the lead. Yes, we are finally answering the questions, very many questions, about taxes. Oh, taxes. Taxes. So this will be a quick video um, about what we know about taxes. Well, actually, what Klee knows about taxes because I don't... I do them. Yeah, she does them. I don't... I don't deal with taxes. We have a question from Bjorn Meyer. Bjorn, I hope I got your name right. Hi, Bjorn. Bjorn, that's that's a cool name. Yeah, I like it. Could you guys please do a video about taxes? It scares the heck out of me, and I don't know where to start. There's no shame in being scared about taxes. You gotta do them, and there's not very much information out there that makes sense and is concise. No, there isn't. In fact, that's why you got places like legal zoom that could charge all this money to do something that really isn't all that expensive to do yeah it's true they're like we'll do it for you for only six hundred dollars hand it over hand it over hand it over yeah and you know what a lot of people hand it over because they, they do because they don't want to deal with like finding out what to do and it's actually not that difficult it's really not you just have to know what steps to take in what order unfortunately we don't have an overall answer because every state and every county uh, the location of where you get the stuff is different but it's pretty much the same process all over the US fun fact my first major nervous breakdown as a full-time artist was about collecting and reporting sales tax. Yep, she cried. I cried. <laughs> and Rafi was like, You're a businesswoman! There's no crying in business! There's no crying in business! And I got advice like, I don't know, man, screw taxes. And just put whatever you want. It doesn't matter. <laughs> a lot of the artists that we talk to and a lot of, like, self like we're like, oh, you know, whatever, screw taxes. We don't pay taxes or whatever. I've been doing this for 10 years and we don't pay taxes. If you're going to do any kind of legitimate, consistent business, you got to be collecting and reporting sales tax. Most shows won't even let you in unless you're set up to do it. It's going to make you feel like... A grown-up. It's going to make you feel like a business person. Like you're an artist who has a legal license to sell your art and you collect taxes. How awesome is that? Anybody that's like, oh, you're an artist, so you paint these little paintings? You're like, I own a business. Come that's at me, what bro. I do. <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> For the sake of not boring you to death and also covering a lot of ground, we're going to quickly go through how to collect and report sales tax and how to deal with federal taxes. Mind you guys, we're trying to make this as unboring as possible. But we're talking about taxes. Yes, so if you're not interested in taxes, then please enjoy our glimmering personalities. <laughs> Did you say glimmering personalities? Yeah. Is that like a glimmering turd? <laughs> enjoy our glimmering turd. Of personality. <laughs> Your tax situation is going to be different depending on what state and what county you live in, but I'm going to tell you what I did. So, step one. Go ahead and cry if you need to. That's what I did. <laughs> the first thing you're going to want to do is contact your secretary of state because that's how you're going to make yourself official as a business. Yes. Yeah. You get to be official. Yeah. You can be a sole proprietor, meaning it's just you doing you. You can be an LLC, which means, you know, maybe there's two of you doing yeah. some stuff can ask them to explain to you what the difference is between those things and they should guide you through the process of registering yourself with the state. That's right. Register yourself. Despite what a lot of people think, they're actually really, really nice. Everyone I talked to was great. Yeah. I mean, I can't account for everybody in every state, but they're generally friendly people. Yeah, 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 because they're not dealing with a-holes. So once you're registered with the state and you're official, the second thing you're going to want to do is contact your local tax collector office and you're going to tell them, I need to collect and report sales tax and I don't know what to do. And then basically those nice people are going to take your information, your business name, 
the number that they give you from the Secretary of State's office, which is your federal business ID number. That's your FIN, right? Your FIN. Yeah. F-I-N. If you're there in person, they're going to give you a welcome packet, chances are, or if you're talking to them on the phone, they're going to mail it to you. But it's usually going to contain a form that you need to fill out and instructions on how to do it. Yep. And if you have any questions about how to fill out that form, what I did was I went to my local office and I was like, I don't know how to fill out this form. And they showed me exactly how to do it. Yeah. And then the third thing that you're going to need to do, depending on where you live, was go to our local county tax office to pay what is called your county tax receipt, which is once a year and it's like... 30 something dollars and it basically means i'm doing business as a retail peddler they call you a retail peddler i feel like i'm a snake oil salesman sometimes like i have special paintings that will make you feel better (laughs) would you like to be peddled some good (laughs) and it means you're allowed to do business in the county that you're in sometimes that's one office the collecting and reporting and the county tax receipt sometimes it's two ours is two different offices and once you get those things all done you are basically good to go and so then you just need to know how to actually collect and report the sales tax and pretty much any any type of credit card collecting uh register type thing that you might have with your phone I know that they'll collect the sales tax, whether or not you're doing an online sale, a cash sale, or a credit card sale, you could set up the system to collect whatever the sales tax is in your area. I guess if there's one point I can drive home with this is call your Secretary of State's office and tell them you want to register as a business, and then call your local tax office and tell them you want to collect and report sales tax, but you don't know how. Yep. And they will help you. Yep. I promise. That's it for sales tax. Now we're going to really, really quickly go over federal taxes. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. (laughs) Federal taxes. So federal taxes is something that we don't deal with intimately because we hired a bookkeeper. Yeah. Most definitely hire someone to file your taxes because there's a lot of stuff that goes into running a business and there's a lot of tax law that changes every year and you don't probably want to learn that and memorize it every year. So just pay somebody to do that paperwork for you. We learned the hard way because year one we tried to do our own taxes and wasted like four days and then eventually just hired someone anyway. (laughs) It wasn't good. It wasn't good. So I have pretty much four things to tell you about federal taxes. Thing number one is have a bank account that is only for your business and nothing else. Don't use it for any personal income or personal expenses. It's just for the business because when you're doing federal taxes as a business, they don't want to see any other things going on in that account. Point number two You want to keep track of your weekly income and expenses in that business account. So I keep a little notebook where I record all of our income and all of our expenses for the week. And it's just a running tally in a notebook. I guess that's probably kind of an old school way to do it. Most people do like QuickBooks. You can do it on QuickBooks. Lee is very hands-on with it, so she is very old school as well. I am old school, so instead of QuickBooks, I'm notebooks. It's fine. (laughs) (laughs) The third thing is get a mileage log and do the mileage log. Fill out the mileage log consistently. Huge deduction. Huge deduction. Yeah. I keep my mileage log on my desk. I don't bring it in the car because I just don't feel like writing the things down in the car. But every single evening, if we went somewhere, I fill out the mileage log. Simple. And the fourth thing is hire somebody to file your taxes at the end of the year. Again, hire a bookkeeper. Take all that information, including your bank statements and all the notebooks and or whatever you choose, QuickBooks, notebooks, whatever, and bring it to somebody who's licensed to file taxes, who yep. knows the tax law and knows how to handle an art business like yours. And I know, I know that this video probably sounds scary and very technical and it's probably extremely boring to everybody, but if you are thinking about filing taxes and afraid to not move forward with your art career because taxes is something that's scary, I say just get in there and do it. 
you're going to have to do it. You're going to figure it out. You're going to be on top of it. You're going to rock your whole taxes thing. But until you take that first step, you're just going to be kind of standing on the sideline waiting. Don't be afraid to ask for help. That's the biggest thing. Just like anything. And that's it. That's it for taxes. Um, I know that this was extremely exciting for you guys. Yeah, Yeah, you're welcome. (laughs) And we are still super busy with all our projects. Like I said, that one installation, this is two months worth of work. I am so sore that it's not not even funny how sore I am. Yeah, apparently we're using muscles that are not used to being used. I have muscles in my butt that I didn't even know existed. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. I totally freaking adore you. You guys are awesome. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Klee. Good day. Adios. Total awesomeness.